Seattle detective Daniel Otterer's body cam video released on Monday has sparked protests and messages to the police department. This is not okay and we need them to take um, responsibility and take an action. Today, the detective is providing his context, sharing the letter he sent last month to the Office of Police Accountability, saying he wasn't trying to act with malice or a hard heart. I'm going to move this pin in a circle. I'm going to move it towards you. On January 23rd, Detective Otterer was dispatched to assist with a collision after another officer on his way to an emergency hit and killed 23-year-old John V. Condola. Otterer, who's the vice president of the police union, says as he drove home, his body-worn camera turned on and recorded a phone conversation with union president Mike Solon. I think she went up on the hood, hit the windshield, then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> The letter explains he wasn't making fun of the death, but instead mocking the callousness of the legal system. Otterer states that during the call, Solon said something to the effect that it was unfortunate that this would turn into lawyers arguing the value of human life. When Solon asked what crazy argument can a lawyer make in something like this, Otterer said he responded. Yeah, just write a check. Just... Yeah, <laughs> $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. She was very, very valuable. This has hit too close to home. She was a kid. She was 23 years old. Dapali Jamwal has a dance studio a block away from where John V. Kandula lost her life. She says the union statement does not satisfy her. She's still disturbed by the detective's remarks. I don't have words. It was disgusting. It was, I was in disbelief. It was horrendous. It was inexcusable. I'm, I'm infuriated.